It'll enhance the flavor of the Bloody Mary and it will make it better without making it more spicy. Look out crabs, popcorn, and just about anything worth eating. Old Bay is now mixed with vodka. It's not salty, it's not overwhelming, it's balanced, it's subtle. Braden Bumpers, co-founder of McClintock Distilling, walked us through the Frederick Base facility where Old Bay Vodka is crafted. We're applying heat to evaporate alcohol vapor. It's coming up through this helmet, coming over, entering into the bottom of the column here, and then working its way up the column. And as it moves up here, it's going to get basically uh, refracting into a finer and finer spirit. Through the windows, it looks like a laundry machine. It's distilled six times to make it smooth. After the distillation process, we then proof it down. Um, just like any other spirit, you're never going to drink a spirit at the percentage that it comes off the still at. And we probably went through at least 20 or 30 different iterations until we got to the finished one. It's clear and looks like any other vodka. I did not want any particulates. I did not want a Goldschlager event where there's floating things in there. And I did not want, we did not, we did not want a red colored vodka. Greg David is a former Annapolis bartender and co-owner of George's Beverage Company, which makes an award-winning Bloody Mary mix. David worked for three years with Old Bay, a McCormick and Company brand, and McClintock Distilling, all Maryland-based companies. Flavor scientists at McCormick utilize the ingredients, the all natural ingredients that go into Old Bay and then they would uh, treat them. So they distill concentrates, they detract oils, they do it to make a clear flavoring solution. The team is out with several food and drink recipes that take our imaginations beyond a Bloody Mary. My favorite recipe is the Bay Crush. So you've heard of the Orange Crush, hugely popular in the Maryland, Delaware, in, in East Coast beaches. And this is the Bay Crush. It's a take of the Orange Crush, only it's with a lemon. He also favors the real Bay Breeze. On the food side, there's Eastern Shore drunken shrimp and pasta dishes to choose from. The timeline to launch only started when we nailed the flavor and the recipe. They're trying to keep each Old Bay vodka bottle under $20. McClintock Distilling actually built a new facility just for Old Bay vodka. It's expected to be online soon, also located in Frederick. They were chosen in part for their sustainable practices like their own the wastewater cooling system. And then returns all of that cooling water back to a holding tank where we have electric chiller uh, powered by renewable energy cool the water back down and reuse it. Greg David says we can look for Old Bay Vodka on store shelves and in restaurants in Maryland and Delaware in the next week. We look to be in all 50 states, probably within 10 years. For Chesapeake Bay Media's Bay Bulletin, I'm Cheryl Costello.